This is the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast, episode 185. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I like to spend some time, it's now a couple of times a week, sharing ideas with you, talking about life, the universe, and everything. And I think sometimes I, I tend to focus a little bit on career, and sometimes I don't. And today, I just want to talk with you about unfairness and how we respond to unfairness. Do you think when we deal with unfair situations, we collapse under the weight of unfairness? I think some people do. and I think some groups of people do. But eventually, we're faced with a choice. Unfairness can yield either submissiveness to the unfairness, or um, I don't want to call it rebellion because that's not where I'm going to, but disagreement with it. In submissiveness, we don't give our best and we die from a thousand cuts um, when we become submissive. And I'll just say that there comes points where people have to stand up and be at their best selves. Uh, I've listened to interviews with people who've been protesting. Um, I want to be clear, not rioting, but protesting about the futility that they're experiencing. And it is painful to listen. And each of us has a version of this story. And I'm not saying ours is more important than, than generations of race. But there's pain at being treated unfairly. And there comes a point where you have a big decision to make. Do you stand up to the unfairness and fight for yourself? Or do you submit to it? I'm not going to tell you what to do. When people decide that they want to change, whether it's in situations involving unfairness, stopping smoking, better relationships, whatever it is, one of the hardest lessons for them to learn is no one's going to be able to do this for you, but you. You've got to be the one to step into this and not blame others. Change comes about initially from within before it can happen without. And in the case of the submissive person, it doesn't mean that you swing to the other extreme but you start moving in a different direction and acting differently. Speaking a a bit more, I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do. You know your capabilities far better than I. In the case of losing weight, well, there's millions of ways to do it. It just takes you sticking with them. Same thing with all situations. If you want to change, you've got to do it for yourself no one is going to be able to do it for you. The race of our life hasn't been finished yet. You're still running. You're still in it. There's still an opportunity to change things. There's still an opportunity to cross the finish line ahead of others. There's an opportunity for you to kick it into another gear and finish ahead of everyone else. That may not be your intention, but I'm just telling you, as long as you're alive, as long as you can focus on what it is you want to get out of something, there is still the opportunity to win the race. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to the show. Just subscribe so you can get downloads whenever I release a new episode. Each show contains bite-sized morsels of advice just like today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you subscribe. And if you're interested in one-on-one coaching, visit nobscoachingadvice.com. You can schedule time for a free discovery call or go right into coaching. I'd love to help you. And if you're interested but not quite sure where to start, take the online assessment available at thebiggamehunter.us forward slash success. It will give you a few ideas and it can be a launch point for our work together. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day and take care.